Hey everyone, welcome to JB Outdoors. Today we're going to be changing the rear diff fluid slash gear case transmission fluid in my 2015 Polaris Sportsman 570. So let's get right to it. I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'm tired of my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action So to get started, let's establish where each plug is at. So you have a fill plug and a drain plug. Left side of the machine will be your driver's side. Right side of the machine will be your passenger side. Your driver's side of the machine has the fill plug and the passenger side of the machine has the drain plug. Okay guys, so before we get started, let's just make sure you have everything you need. Get the rear tires off. You don't have to, but it will be easier to get to the plugs if you do. So we are at the driver's side of the machine. This is the fill plug right here. So while we're here, we're going to, we're going to spray this whole area right here just to get some rid of some of that dirt. Here we are at the passenger side of the vehicle. So we have the drain plug right here. This is nice because it does say drain. If you guys can see that right there, we're going to spray this side and just get rid of some of that dirt. So next we're going to take the fill plug out. We're not taking the drain plug out yet. So let's get our tool in there. Now I have a drain pan underneath this because it's likely that some fluid will come out. But we're safe and I also have a clean paper towel handy so be sure to get that ready that way you have you can keep your plug clean next we'll take the drain plug out again have a clean paper towel handy for the drain plug So your drain plug does have a magnet on the end of it. You'll see that it does have some residue and buildup from any of the gunk and stuff that's gone in there over the years. So we're going to get that cleaned up before we put that back in. So let's reinstall the plug, the drain plug. So for filling these, you just want to make sure that you put enough oil in it to where it starts to come out of the top of the threads. So I'm going to take my hose from my syringe and we'll start spraying it into the gear case. Okay guys, so luckily if you're watching and if you have a good light, you can, you'll can you be able to see the fluid on the inside there. And this syringe may take a little bit longer, but there is just a little groove that you can actually fit that hose up into. That way it's not pouring out all over the side, kind of like I did a little bit there. But if you had a bigger hose, that wouldn't work. So this syringe might be the way to go. So we'll wait for this to pour out. A little bit and then we'll plug the hole up. 
you can see the oil is now full up to the threads. So that is it, that is the full line. And now we can put the plug back in the fill side. Again, we've used the Polaris AGL. I'm sure there's other products out there, but I wanted to go with OEM products. Um, we've used all but maybe an ounce or two out of this core. Now, if you are doing your front differential fluid, you want to be sure to grab the demand drive fluid. I purchased these quartz off of a kit on Amazon that actually came from a power sports place, which was kind of neat. You're still supporting the small mom and pop shops, but they sell on Amazon. So um, I already did change my front differential fluid, but I never filmed any of it. So if you guys want to check out how to do that, it's very simple. It's the same kind of process. You have your top fill um, plug, and then you also have your bottom drain plug. So that's on your front differential again. This is the kind of stuff that you need, and I will put a link in the description down below of these two products that actually came as a kit. Uh, expect to pay about 20 bucks a quart, because that's about what this stuff costs, so it's a pretty penny, um, and that's about it. Again, this was my little syringe that I used. This did take a while. Again, you're, you're doing just about a full quart through that, and that holds about 100 milliliters at a time. So. Uh, that's going to take a little bit, but it is nice and it's clean and uh, you won't have to worry too much about spillage or anything like that. There you guys have it. You've changed your diff fluid in your Polaris Sportsman 570. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. And if you like this kind of stuff or if you like watching people ride, do anything cool outdoors, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. As always, like and comment down below if you can. If you don't like this video, if you didn't find it helpful, I'm sorry, I tried my best. So uh, again, I'm Justin with JB Outdoors. Remember to spend more time outdoors and I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. I think of you and all the shit you don't do. Well, I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you. I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tie up my chest. I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt. Been stabbed in the back, bed. I show.